Huh, sure is <clears throat> quiet today. Oh, where'd all the guards go? Hello, Mr. Sanchez. I'm sure you're wondering where all our staff is today. You read my mind, Doc. They were needed elsewhere. And seeing as there's nobody here to watch over you, I think now is the time to terminate your involvement in our research. But you're here, aren't you? I'm much too busy to deal with trivial tasks like babysitting you. Wow, you sure know how to make a guy feel important. Is your plan to terminate my involvement or terminate me? Well, you haven't had access to anything that would be dangerous as public knowledge. Plus, you came to us volunteering to work, so I don't think that will be necessary. I don't understand. Have you grown a heart overnight or something? What happened to the woman who kidnapped my grandson and held him ransom? I've told you from the beginning, Mr. Sanchez. If you are agreeable, then we don't have to resort to using force. Sure. Things are just getting interesting with these alien business. Why can't we <clears throat> trust each other? Io isn't in the business of trusting people, especially people from this island. Hey, lucky for you, I'm not from here. Very funny. Now I need to escort you out. Follow? Come on, I don't need those guards to watch me. Where'd they go anyway? That's classified, obviously. Right. Obviously, you, you still need me. Let me prove- Mr. Sanchez, I have a lot of time-sensitive work to get done. You're stalling and I- <laughs> That one actually felt justified. You can say that again. Well, I suppose you're not completely disposable after all, Mr. Sanchez. Is that as much of an apology as I'm gonna get? An apology? If I make a decision for the good of I.O., I don't owe anyone an apology. A simple <clears throat> yes would have sufficed. Well, that was impressive how you handled yourself. You're quick on your feet, Mr. Sanchez. Your standards are low, but thanks, I guess. You want to take the lead on figuring out what these robots were made for? Well, what happened to not trusting me? I can make sure any damage you might do is minimized. Besides, I can't run this entire operation alone. All right, I guess I'm in. But I get to design a cool uniform for this. Seriously? You're not paying me. At least let me have this. <sighs> Don't make me regret letting you stay, okay? Making a uniform is as much freedom as I'm going to give you. I kept Bronson on retainer, so when he's not busy, he'll be watching you. This is terrible news. The mothership is sending robots down to find me, and this base is less protected than ever. They must be disappointed that I have not completed my mission yet. If they find me, I'll be destroyed. The new upgrades to the Trespasser units are every bit as good as they promised. Let's see what we can get away with. This is why we need guards. People can't just wander in here. What happened to the pin pads outside? Uh, hold on. I know that guy. Let me talk to him. I don't care if you know him. He's not leaving this base alive. Have you found anything interesting? You could say that. This is a pretty standard design. I could see it being modeled off something Kit's capable of making. That hardly sounds like praise. No, I mean, it's solid work. But it's clear there have been some things added that don't match the original design. So it's likely the Chimeras copied Kit's robot and made additions to it. Yeah. This version isn't nearly as intelligent as the one Kit made. It looks like it just runs a simple patrolling program. It seemed to react when we attacked it. If I had to guess, if they sense a threat, they alert an alien to take over and control the robot. Hmm, interesting. If they can control it, can they see what it sees as well? I was going to get to that. It has a camera and transmitter that looks like it might send data up to their ship. Hmm, remotely controlled. Somewhat intelligent and autonomous. Is there some way we can use this against them? You mean if I reprogrammed it to follow our commands instead? Perhaps. Is that possible? Maybe. But I would need to turn it on first and find a way to connect it to my computer, and... Well, it would be complicated, but it could work. If you're right about the way it's programmed, when we turn it on, it will likely alert the chimeras of the threat we pose. I could disable its communication abilities, but are you sure this is a good idea, Dad? Hmm, it wasn't difficult to subdue it the first time. What could be the harm in trying? Such an unorganized lab. 
Where would they keep documents? Hmm, what's this? Are you working with him? Why does he have your grandson? Stop asking questions. Just step aside and let me do this. No, this is my base. And if he makes a run for it, I'll be using lethal force. Yeah, fine. I don't care. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh no. Well, I guess it's time to use the new voice controls. Ahem. Hello, Administrator. I ask you a question. What are you doing here? I am here to fight the aliens. I hate aliens. How did you get in? You're supposed to need credentials. This is an IO base for IO employees. How can I help to destroy the aliens? Hey, shut up, nonsensical Morty. You fake squanchy. How come you're not saying anything? What? Isn't the big one supposed to be a host for the one that speaks? Nah, forget it. I'll improvise. He is mute. Oh no. What happened to him? He was fine when I saw him uh, a few days ago. Rick, what are you doing? A better job than you, uh, administrator. Uh, have you figured out what this is yet? I am a friend. No, but I know it's not- Not native to this island? Maybe if you read any of my reports, you would know about the trespassers that the Chimeras engineered. Uh-oh. I did read that report, but it contained nothing like this. Clearly the trespassers have become more advanced. You know how I know that, you alien scum? Um, no. Because the real Morty is right here. Ha, fake Morty, ah. me real Morty. Ow. Oof, of all the people to impersonate alongside Morty, you didn't pick me. It's so obvious. Ah, so close. Just didn't pick the right people to mimic. Still a better attempt than 24601, though. Who knows what happened to her? Ugh, that thing is heavy. Where did you guys find this thing, and how did you carry it all the way here? It was near Rox's neighborhood. Unfortunately, that's the area that's been affected the most. Hmm. I heard the homes and businesses over there have been messed up pretty badly. It's tragic, but fascinating to look at. They've created climate zones to raise some sort of young. We must learn more about them, and I believe this is the best way. Do you think you'll be able to recognize if they've used Sega as a model for these robots? Yeah, probably. Shh, here it comes. Now! Nyah! <laughs> Well, that was easier than expected. Now what? Hmm. Surely they should have more defenses than that. Maybe they just weren't built to fight. But they're patrolling the hatchery. Surely they should be equipped to defend it. Sounds like you two got lucky. If whoever was manning this trespasser was actually paying attention, you might have been in trouble. Are you saying I could be defeated by a pile of scrap metal? <laughs> Maybe. But the two of us together? No way. A bit insulting, but I like your attitude. Shall we begin then? Yeah, just gotta make sure the communication system is offline. Okay, great. Booting her up now. Huh? Uh, it doesn't have a gender, Dad. It's just a figure of speech. Huh, so far so good. Sounds creepy though. Agreed. Now, what's the next step? I found some ports on it. Maybe we can try to connect it to my computer and read what code they used to make it. Mm, I wish I wouldn't keep doing that. <gasps> what the? Jules! Uh, who's that? And why does she look like me? Marigold? I'm Marigold. 